welcome to the farm. I am here with Gucci and this new guy right here, Donka Shane. Donka Shane's only been here about three weeks now. You know, Gucci's been here uh, for a few months. Gucci's completely untrained and he's just now getting to where, you know, I can pet him and start to work with him a little bit. Donka Shane here has been neglected for quite a while because his his hooves are annoyed by his shape. He's a little bit fearful and not trusting. But from what I can see, this donkey is very well trained. Even though he was on an auction, you know, in kill pen type situation, this somebody spent time with this donkey. But he loads, he halters, he leads. Um, he even had okay hoof manners once he realized you know it was gonna have to happen <laughs> um, so i'm looking forward to getting this guy um, his hoofs rehabbed and getting him in good shape and um, seeing what else he knows bringing him home i had to quarantine him so i thought i might do a video on tips for bringing home a new donkey because i get emails all the time about what do i need to do for this new donkey I'm bringing home. When you bring home a new donkey, the first thing you want to really think about, especially if you already have donkeys, is a quarantine area. Because donkeys can be sick, they can have flus, and they can have something called strangles. It's really, really contagious. They could have different parasites. So it's a good idea to have, the, have a quarantine area where they can't even touch noses with your donkeys. You wanna set up your quarantine area so they can at least see each other. Um, that helps a lot. You wanna keep them in quarantine, especially if they come from a kill pen situation um, or somebody that's kind of a horse trader type person. You want to keep them in a quarantine area for bare minimum two weeks. Now, if you're bringing in a donkey and you feel pretty safe about bringing in that donkey, and you don't want to quarantine, but you're worried about how they're going to get along, then you definitely want to have a fence in between the donkeys. Um, definitely. And let them kind of bump noses, get to know each other. And that can make a meeting a whole lot easier. Now, you can just bring the donkey home and put them in together. And a lot of times they do just fine. If you are worried, about it or you have a more dominant donkey you definitely want to start out introducing them with a fence between them a couple of weeks is usually plenty of time and then they usually go together and they're like bffs because i bring home lots of different donkeys to take care of and get healthy and get trained so i've done it a lot <laughs> and that's the easiest way to do it quarantine fence between them let them all get to know each other and then you can put them together and it, and they're typically all buddies by then unless you do have a very dominant donkey um, or a donkey with poor social skills like my donkey jasper one other thing if you are bringing home a donkey that has not been handled that is feral you definitely want to put that donkey in a small training area and you wanna make sure that that training area has everything the donkey's going to need, that has access to water, that you have shelter. Of course, that it's easy for you to bring food to the donkey because if the donkey is feral and unhandled, you've got your work cut out for you and it's gonna be so much easier if you have a training area set up. I do have videos on that also, how to set up a training area and setting up a smaller training area if you have a donkey that is just refusing to engage with you. Just a few tips there. Little introduction to Donka Shane here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I do donkey videos all the time. My husband does some great DIY farm videos. Just all about the donkeys here and all about the farm and the gardens. I hope you're having a good day. I hope it is warmer wherever you are than it is for me today in Tennessee. But I'm gonna get out here and have some fun with these donkeys anyway. 
even if it's cold and I have to bundle up like this. I hope you're having a good one and you get some time with your donkeys.